Hi, I'm Tony, back with more of the best of the real Oregon coast. This time we're taking in the rich history from an artistic hub, witnessing an ever-changing coastline, and enjoying the day from the vibrant seaside community of Nye Beach, a central district in Newport, Oregon. Thanks for joining us. It's a coastal treasure, a cultural haven, and a place where nature's forces meet history's embrace. It's the heartbeat of the Central Oregon coast. Hello, and welcome to the special edition of Real Oregon Coast, where we delve into the finest coastal experiences our state has to offer. Today, we're taking in the rich history and the dynamic coastline at the vibrant modern community of Nye Beach, a central district right here in Newport, Oregon. Neatly nestled within the Oregon coastal community of Nye Beach lies a charming beachfront locale. Comfortably situated in a tranquil 12 block haven, lined amidst coastal eateries, boutique shops, cozy accommodations, and easy beach access. In the wintertime, Nye Beach transcends into a laid back hideaway, inviting you to escape from the clamor of everyday life. This beloved vacation destination has captivated hearts and imaginations since the late 19th century. Here in Nye Beach, the timeless charm of the Oregon coast harmoniously intertwines with a rich tapestry of art, culture, history, innovation, and the wonders of nature. Nye Beach is not just another pretty beach. It's a cultural hub that draws in and inspires artists, writers, and nature enthusiasts alike. Home to the Oregon Coast Council for the Arts, Yakina Art Association, and Writers on the Edge, this vibrant neighborhood also hosts Newport's Performing Arts and Visual Arts Center, offering a rich array of artistic experiences for both residents and tourists. At times, some found MASH TV star David Ogden Styers, a resident of Nye Beach, making special appearances as a guest conductor until his passing in March of 2018. Nye Beach is much more than a quaint coastal district of Newport, Oregon. It possesses a unique seaside personality all its own. Artists and creatives have painted the neighborhood with their expressions, and local entrepreneurs have breathed life into its streets. Nye Beach's allure extends beyond the arts, the beach itself beckons tide pool enthusiasts, beachcombers, surfers, sailboarders, crabbers, clam diggers, kite flyers, photographers, and artists. The Oregon beachside community of Nye Beach has served as a backdrop for marine and geological research projects, showcasing its multifaceted appeal. As the 20th century dawned, Nye Beach boasted numerous summer cottages and campgrounds along Nye Creek. Shops, boarding houses, hotels, and recreational attractions sprang up rapidly.
Before we gallivant around Nye Beach today, we begin our Oregon coast adventure by embarking upon the exploration of Nye Beach's storied past. We find ourselves captivated by the inextricable ties woven between its narrative and the ever-changing coastline, where the sands of time reveal a tale etched in the rocks and shaped by the relentless forces of coastal erosion. In the early 1800s, Nye Beach was demarcated by the Ikina River to the south and a formidable natural barrier known as Jump Off Joe to the north. Over time, the relentless forces of coastal erosion led to the separation of Jump Off Joe from the cliff, forming an arch and ultimately crumbling away, leaving only scattered rock formations. By the 1890s, Nye Beach was a magnet for summer vacationers. In 1891, a boardwalk connected Nye Beach to the Bayfront, quickly transforming into a road. Summer crowds gathered on the beach for band concerts and entertainment, solidifying Nye Beach's status as a sought-after destination. Nye Beach's allure extended to artists, writers, and students of natural science. It became a popular learning locale for intellectuals and artistic pursuits, hosting summer teaching sessions between 1897 and 1902, offering classes in science, music, mirth, art, and religion. This period firmly established Nye Beach as a hub for the literary, scholarly, and artistic. In 1942, a landslide claimed 15 acres of coastal land and several homes at the Jump Off Joe site. Erosion continued to undermine the homes in the area. In 1980, a failed condominium project known as the Beachland Estate Condominiums was under construction when the site also collapsed. Today, these remnants now stand as an eerie reminder of nature's awe-inspiring power and unpredictability. Night Beach continued to evolve throughout the 20th century. Despite World War II patrols and coastal defense efforts, the 1940s witnessed the construction of distinctive homes contributing to the Nye Beach style. Many of these homes still stand today. By the 1980s, Nye Beach underwent a transformation. Shedding its rough and tumble reputation, it embraced a renaissance, welcoming upscale developments like Archway Place, featuring high-end shopping and condominiums. Coast Street received a facelift with retro paving stones and custom curbs. While many historic cottages have dwindled, replaced by condominiums and modern hotels, Nye Beach still maintains its unique character and its notably warm and welcoming reputation. In the 21st century, Nye Beach has become a self-conscious community with its own merchant organization, modern architecture, and vibrant cultural events. <laughs> Nye Beach's contemporary architectural vibe actually stems from more than a century ago. The iconic new Cliff House Hotel, in its Nye Beach style, was completed in 1913, and by 1986 became listed on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places, just before it was transformed into what it is today, the whimsical Sylvia Beach Hotel. A cherished haven on the bluff, this homey 21-room literary-themed bed and breakfast with no phones, no TVs, and no in-room Wi-Fi, but plenty of eclectic charm, attracts readers, writers, and travelers from all over the world. 
unplug, unwind, and rest with your favorite author. Today, we find Nye Beach to be a friendly coastside neighborhood that beckons with its unique blend of cultural treasures and modern intrigue. Stroll through its lively streets, and you'll take in a vivid tapestry of rare bookstores, boutiques filled with one-of-a-kind finds, serene spas ready to whisk you into relaxation, and galleries showcasing the talent of local artists. Bistros and pubs invite you to savor culinary delights and indulge in friendly conversations, while wine shops promise delightful discoveries. The restaurant scene is a culinary adventure, featuring diverse flavors to suit every palate. In Nye Beach, the intersection of history and contemporary captivation creates an inviting atmosphere, ensuring there's something special for everyone to enjoy in this dynamic and diverse Oregon coastal community. The rich tapestry of Nye Beach's narrative unfolds, and within its intricate threads, we find the indelible imprints of individuals who have played pivotal roles in shaping this coastal haven. From visionaries who saw the untapped potential of the land to the community leaders who rallied for its preservation. Nye Beach stands as a testament to the contributions of those who recognize its unique charm and historical significance. The history of Nye Beach is woven with colorful threads of diversity and richness. In the early 1800s, this coastal expanse was part of the sprawling Coast Indian Reservation. By 1865, as the Indian population dwindled, the area opened up for homesteading. John Nye, the namesake of the area, settled in the Nye Creek region in 1865 when it was still semi-wilderness. During that era, Newport's primary attraction was at Kennebay frontage, while Nye Beach remained inaccessible by road bordered by imposing cliffs. A stream, later known as Nye Creek, carved an opening in the sea cliff giving birth to the heart of Nye Beach, the turnaround. After John Nye settled here in the mid-1800s, Ed Seidler in 1901 built the original bathhouse at Nye Creek, now the iconic Nye Beach turnaround. Dr. John Minthorn, the uncle of Herbert Hoover, introduced hot seawater bass to Nye Beach in 1902, adding a unique dimension to the area's attraction and becoming a year-round resident. In 1911, the bathhouse at Nye Creek was demolished and replaced by a natatorium. By the late 1960s, the bathing facility was put up for sale and eventually dismantled. The vacant grounds became a picnic area and parking lot at the Nye Beach turnaround. All that remains today of the former complex is one building that used to provide public restrooms but is now the Aquina Art Gallery. Another significant Nye Beach influencer is Donald A. Davis, who served as Newport City Manager from 1962 to 1992. Don and his wife Ann were both honored by the community for leaving a lasting legacy with a celebrated opening of the Don and Ann Davis Park which is located on the bluffs near the southern end of Nye Beach. Nye Beach isn't just a destination, it's an invitation to step into a world where history mingles with modernity, where culture and nature converge, and where every corner tells a story. Whether you're seeking artistic inspiration, a taste of coastal cuisine, or a quiet weekend retreat, Nye Beach welcomes you. Nye Beach has an abundance of activities to make your beachside getaway unforgettable. You can enjoy a show, explore local shops, indulge in sweet delights, savor culinary treats, and much more. 
Visit the Newport Visual Arts Center at the Nye Beach Turnaround and or the Newport Performing Arts Center at the bottom of Olive Street. These venues offer a delightful array of entertainment, from films to theater to musical performances and live operas. Surrounded by friendly smiles and dog walkers, you can explore local shops and make new friends. Nye Beach makes browsing a breeze with over 40 locally owned businesses and shops lining its streets. Discover handcrafted art, jewelry, antiques, cotton travel wear, toys, and home decor at shops like Peerless Puffin, Drawstrings of Malibu, Jovi, 222, and the Nye Beach Wine Cellar, where you can sample wines by the taste, glass, or bottle. You can indulge in sweet delights. Satisfy your sweet cravings and caffeine fix at Panini Bakery. Nye Beach Sweets or BJ's Ice Cream, where delectable homemade treats abound. And be sure to savor the culinary fare. Warm up with a generous serving of comfort at the Chowder Bowl, where the Coastal Classic is served with a large pat of butter and a local bakery sourdough bread bowl. From breakfast or lunch, make your way to the cheerful Cafe Stephanie, a hidden gem where quiches, scones, and French toast are perennial favorites. For family fare, the Sandbar also serves up fresh and delicious tastes. Before bidding farewell to Nye Beach, settle into a cozy corner at Nana's Irish Pub for a hearty pot pie, a steaming hot toddy, or an indulgent Irish nudge. Don't forget to visit the new Tap House at Nye Beach, a delightful addition to the neighborhood offering crave-worthy burgers, wood-fired pizzas, a selection of rotating beers and wine taps, and playful cocktails like the Nye Beach Sunset. So plan your next getaway to Nye Beach and immerse yourself in its rich history and vibrant present. From cultural experiences to culinary delights, this coastal haven offers it all. Come and be a part of the enduring story of Nye Beach, a place where the past meets the future and where every visit is an unforgettable chapter in your own unique story of adventure. Nye Beach seduces us with its rich history, the artistic soul of its people, those who gather here, and the ever-transforming allure of its always inviting shoreline. Thanks for joining us today on this edition of Real Oregon Coast as we embarked on a journey through the always enchanting Nye Beach. Stay tuned for our next Pacific Northwest Coastal Rendezvous, where together we'll take in the best of Oregon's coastal scene from its sights, sounds, and everything in between. Wishing you a never-ending Oregon coastal adventure. I'm Tony Marino. Thanks for watching and keep on coasting.